Hi there. Here is the solution to AP practice free response question number two for the normal distribution. This is actually a portion of a question. This is an example of the start of one of the number six free response questions that can appear on the AP exam. So to start with, it's important to read and organize, find all the information you're going to need. So we have the manager of a cultured pearl farm. He has a special order for two pearls between seven millimeters and nine millimeters in diameter. So he knows that uh, from his experience that pearls in his oyster bed have diameters that are normally distributed. So there is our shape. So we know that the mean is eight millimeters. There is the center. And the standard deviation is two millimeters. There is our measure of spread. We're assuming that every oyster contains one pearl, no problem. So the diameters are distributed normally with a mean of eight and a standard deviation of two millimeters. That's the information that we have so far. Now, this portion of the problem you don't really need here. This is setting up for the complete problem. So essentially, we are going to calculate here a percentage. That percentage is going to be interpreted as a probability, and the idea is that we will be able to use that percentage to design a simulation. So this, I'm not asking you to actually do the simulation or complete the simulation. That's something that we can look at later on. The point of using this as a review question is to do the portion that involves the normal distribution. So that's this section right here. Determine the probability of finding a pearl of the appropriate size. Remember that size is between seven and nine millimeters. Um, if an uh, oyster is selected at random. So notice we're expressing the probability as a number between zero and one. So we can think of that as the percentage that we're going to find by using a normal distribution and we will round our probability to the nearest tenth. So uh, we are interested in finding a pearl of the appropriate size. We've already been told that the appropriate size is between seven and nine millimeters. So drawing a picture will help us get this started here. Let's draw a picture of a normal distribution. So our normal distribution has a mean of eight millimeters. It has a standard deviation of two millimeters. And I am interested in the percent of the time if I randomly choose one oyster, that the pearl in it will be between seven and nine millimeters. So here is eight millimeters. Nine millimeters is not one standard deviation above the mean, that would be two millimeters. So it would be right here, this is where nine would be. And seven would be right here. So the area under the curve that I'm interested in finding is this area right here. This area will be a percentage, and that percentage we will be able to interpret as a probability if we were to complete this simulation. So to find this percentage, we're going to turn that 7 and 9 into z-scores. So we'll take 7, subtract the mean of 9, and divide by the standard deviation of 2. I apologize, the mean is 8, not 9, forgive me. So that's going to make negative 1 half. Of course, you can write that as just negative 0.5 if you prefer to enter it into the calculator that way. So again, a z-score for the 9, that will be 9 minus the mean of 8 divided by 2. That's positive 1 half. So we can think of entering that as 0.5 into the calculator. So notice this is pretty natural here. Here is the area that is shaded. That's what we want to find the value of. So the lower boundary is the left boundary. That's the negative 0.5. And the upper boundary will be the right boundary. That's 0.5. So we should go to the calculator next. Here we are. So we're going to be using, in this case, the shade norm command. I'm on the home screen right now. So I'm going to go ahead and clear the drawing. Second program, enter, 
enter. I'm going to do that just to make sure I don't recall whether or not I had already cleared the drawing. So notice in this question we are given Z scores and our job is to find the percentages. So that calls for the shade norm command. Second button, variables button, right arrow to go over to the draw menu. The shade norm command is highlighted already. So my lower boundary is negative 0.5. My upper boundary is positive 0.5. So we're working with z-scores, so we can leave the 0 and 1 alone. Those are the mean and standard deviation for z-scores. We'll press enter. There we go. That looks a lot like the picture that we drew. The area that we have is 0.38. So this area right here is 0.38. So we are supposed to, according to the directions, round this probability to the nearest tenth, so we will round that to 0 0.4. So, 40% if we select a pearl from randomly from this uh, cultured pearl farm, if you will, if we randomly select one oyster, so 40% of the time that diameter for the pearl in that oyster will be between 7 and 9 millimeters. So that 0.4 is the probability then that if I randomly choose one oyster, that's the chance that that oyster has within it a pearl of the appropriate size. So again, this is the beginning of a number six question. So what I wanted to do was to use this to show you that in the context of this question, we are applying the normal distribution. And in fact, we can find the percentage and the probability we want by using the shade norm command with z-scores.